Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel working from home is the new normal and it's a must to ensure healthy work life balance you cannot just grab a laptop and keep working all day long it will affect your health drastically schedule your breaks by far the best way out it works out well for me actually In this video tutorial we'll learn how to build a break scheduler. We will see the implementation in Python. Now you know the pattern. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update every time I upload a video. So with that being said, let's quickly dive right into the video. So let's have a look at today's agenda. We'll cover why breaks are important and how to utilize them. What is web browser module? And finally we'll see how to build a simple break scheduler using Python. So let's get started. why breaks are important and how to utilize them working from home can be a tiring desk job. You need to take care of your mental health. Well, you can schedule your breaks to take a 5 minute break every hour to drink water frequently to stretch your muscles to prepare tea or coffee or any healthy drink of your choice. You can take a walk for a few minutes. When you receive a non work call, again you can do a little walk and talk. Well, how do you plan to utilize your breaks? Mention in the comments below. Now let's have a look at the modules used. Web browser module The web browser module provides a high level interface to allow displaying web based documents to users. Under most circumstances, simply calling the open function from this module will do the right thing. The script web browser can be used as a command line interface for the module. It accepts URL as an argument. If you wish to know more about this, you can refer to the web browser module documentation. Now that you're familiar with why breaks are important and how to utilize them and have acquired basic knowledge of web browser module, we can move forward to the coding section. It's time to code. You can find all the code at my YouTube projects GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. Well, you can also refer to my blogging website for a step-by-step -step guide of the video tutorial. Let us move to the VS Code editor and let us start by creating a new file. I'm naming it as Break Scheduler. and hit enter in order to access the python library we need to import the package in our python script use the following command to do so import time import web browser and from random import choice now that we have imported the necessary packages in our python script we can move forward let's display a welcome message here so i'm making use of the print statement for the same which reads initiating the break schedule now let's ask the user to input the number of breaks he wishes to take so breaks equals to input now let's save and test the script So for sample I'm entering 8 and it's working. It should be the okay. So since I'll use the script for myself so I can even hard code the value. So for the same breaks equals to 2. I'm using 2 for demonstration purpose. You can choose the value according to your choice. Let's proceed further and now you can set the break interval according to your need. I'm setting the break interval so let's store it in gap if you want to schedule break for every hour use 16 into 60 but for the demonstration purpose i'll make it 15 seconds let's set the counter to 0 and now let's define the url set this url as anything which would remind you to take breaks at every hour so for now i am entering my blog url here Even if you do not wish to open a particular URL at the break interval you can set the activity here according to your choice which will perform at every interval Now let's make use of the random module to display a random message at every break interval Let's store the messages to be displayed in a message list 
Time for a break. If you do not wish any message to be displayed at every interval, you can skip this step and move ahead. Let's take a break. So I'll only mention two for now. Once we have specified the basic properties, now let's run a while loop. And we'll run the loop until the counter becomes equal to the number of our desired breaks. So counter is less than number of breaks. Let's introduce sleep here. So time dot sleep and the gap. So we are passing in our gap as the parameter here. Now let's print out the break message. So I'm making use of the choice method from the random module so that a random message will be displayed on the screen and open the URL automatically at every interval. For doing so, now let's call the web browser module. So web browser dot open. And let's pass in the URL here as an argument. Finally, let's increase the counter by one. At the end, let's display the termination message. So print terminating the break scheduler. Now let's save and test our script. So hit run. So it reads initiating the break scheduler. Okay, we have made an error here. Let me quickly check. This should use the dot operator. Now let's save and run our script once again. Since I've provided 15 seconds as the gap interval, so my blogging website should open within 15 seconds. So if you observe, I received a break message. Let's take a break and my website was automatically open. Let's wait for another 15 seconds. And my blogging website is open once again. Here it again displayed another break message. And at the end, it's displayed terminating the break message. I've misspelled the, but it's understandable. And since I've set the number of breaks as two here, the script only ran twice. That's it. That's all you have to do to build a simple break scheduler. And with that, it's a wrap. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It will encourage me to make more such videos for you. And if you have reached so far and still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it right away. If you're looking for some cool projects in Python, I have just the playlist for you. It has 30 plus awesome projects. I would strongly recommend you to join my Telegram channel and Discord server to connect with peers and fellow developers to help improve your coding skills. I would love to connect with you on social platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn. Find all the links attached in the description box. If you have any queries or suggestion for the next video, drop your comments below. Also, do share your feedback with me. It will help me improve my next video. I will be back with more such videos. Till then, stay safe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching.